Uh, hello friends, my name is Hamid. Uh, today I'm working on a Hubsch or a Speed Queen uh, dryer. This dryer is being used in commercial places too, but it's residential. And I'll show you the model number. The, that's the model number ZDEE9BGS175C001. So this customer's complaint was that this drawer is overheating and it's uh, uh, creating a little bit of discoloration there at the back nest. You see that discoloration there? And so I'm gonna give it a, a quick run and I'll tell you what we can do here. So, um, high temperature on heavy duty, a start. <coughs> and uh, I have my temperature probe already. Then at the back, I can check the temperature. I'm getting the temperature reading. Um, so, if I'm getting over 165 degrees Fahrenheit, the temperature at the back of the dryer, it's, if it's over 165 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, we have problem with the dryer. Maybe the control board, maybe the limit thermostat or anything else. It could be anything. But I'm getting the reading so far. It's done with the label. And here's the part diagram in case if we need the part. This is the thermal fuse on number 8. It's located on the heat element itself. And it's the limit thermostat. That's the part number. And we are looking for that number 8 part. If that number 8 part limit thermostat is not working properly or if we got problem with the control board it's gonna hit over 165 degrees Fahrenheit and the reason we get that uh, discoloration on that little nest at the back is um, if the dryer is working perfectly fine you test your heat element your control board your limit thermostat you get the temperature reading and the customers are still complaining that the dryer is overheating in fact there's nothing wrong with the dryer. You have to check your ventilation hose, make sure it's not very long, or make sure customers not using uh, clothing with poly polyester mix or with uh, plastic uh, stuff mixed in it, and that will also cause discoloration there. But uh, so far I know if the dryer heats over 165 uh, degrees Fahrenheit at the back by the ventilation hose, we have problem with the dryer, or we have uh, problem anything inside so here I'm getting for you too. I did the exact same test a couple minutes ago and I was getting I was getting maximum 100 uh, 150 degrees which is not too bad it's okay but again uh, this was the quick test here there's nothing wrong with this this dryer and um, I'll have to talk to the customer to change their ventilation hose because I have a feeling they're using a very long uh, vent hose um, Also to, to get to the heater or any of these thermal fuses There's two screws at the bottom that panel comes off and then there's two other screws uh, at the bottom of the panel You take those off the whole front panel comes out and you can have a full access to the heat element